The Marquette Golden Eagles were grounded by the St. John's Red Storm Sunday, 82 to 72, at the Al McGuire Center. The Golden Eagles had a lethargic start to the game, letting St. John's take an 18 to 8 lead by the end of the first quarter. Marquette shot only 21% from the field in the quarter. All eight points came from the paint. Marquette improved offensively in the second and third quarters, shooting 56 and 64%. The improved offense allowed the team to tie the game at 54 to end the third quarter, with layups from sophomores Erica Davenport and Alizea Blockton. The Blue and Gold took the lead to start the fourth quarter via Daniel King jump shot. St. John's retook the lead less than a minute later, but Davenport scored her fifth bucket of the game to give the lead back to the Golden Eagles. Davenport finished the game with 14 points. Free throw shooting killed the Golden Eagles down the stretch, however as St. John's made as many free throws in the fourth quarter as Marquette did in the entire game. Sophomore Natisha Heideman also fouled out, taking away one of Marquette's best perimeter options. Much of Marquette's offensive struggles were due to poor three-point shooting. The team shot one for 18 from long distance, with the only three coming from senior Michaela Jens in the third quarter. The team also struggled defensively, letting St. John's shoot 50% from the field and 53% from three-point range. The Red Storm were paced by freshman guard Andrea Adams, who scored a career-high 27 points. Before Sunday's game, Adams was averaging only 3.3 points per game. Adams hit six three-pointers Sunday, the same amount that she has made in her last 16 games combined. The Marquette Golden Eagles look to get back on track next Friday as they visit Butler. From the Al McGuire Center, I'm John Steppe, Marquette Wire Sports.